y'all welcome back to my channel my name is misty and my name is speculative magpie and we are back to talk about uh, another book i've read now we did the books that i read in uh november so now we're going to move into the books that i read in december um read a uh, couple um this was a book that i read for a goodreads um read along for the horror aficionados uh like book group on there i'm trying to do better with my um with my goodreads thing i'm still not quite sure how to write reviews on there because everybody's like really fancy with like like graphics and stuff it kind of looks like the myspace for book reviews but um yeah, pretty much my reviews are, I like book. Words are good. Characters fun. Thanks. Bye. Um, <laughs> this is pretty much what I do on here. But um, yeah, so the book that they did was, um, well, one of the books that they did. They did a couple, but um, this one was Darcy Coates, Caro's Haunt. And I'll put the thing up somewhere. So you can see the cover, because I really like the cover. Um, I have seen some people kind of make fun of the cheesy covers that she has, but I love the cheesy covers, because they're fun. Um, again, for me, Darcy Coates is cozy horror. I love her so much. I did read it on an ebook, which is why I put the cover up. Um, but I am going to buy her books, because I love her books so much. Okay. So we're going to read the synopsis and then we're going to talk about the book, okay? Okay, The Carol's Haunt by Darcy Coates. The dead are restless here. Raimi is a tour guide for Carol House, a notoriously haunted building. When she's asked to host seven guests for a week-long stay research, Carol's for a week-long stay to research Carol's phenomena, she hopes to finally experience some of the sightings that makes the house famous. At first, everything they hope, first it's everything that they've hoped for. Then the storm moves in, cutting off their contact with the outside world, and things quickly become twisted. Doors open on their own, seances go disastrously wrong, red liquid seeps from behind wallpaper, their spirit medium, wanders through the house at night, seemingly in a trance. Then one of the guests dies under strange circumstances and Remy is forced to consider the possibility that the ghosts of the original's house owner, a twisted serial killer, still walks the halls. But by then, it's too late to escape. This was a really fun book for me. Darcy Coates seems to be pretty much five out of five star read for me. Um, is it... You know, like, it's not deep. It's not fun. These are comfort reads for me. I love haunted house stories so much. And Darcy Coates always knocks it out of the park with, like, this dreary atmosphere with these, this creepy, spooky vibe that I just love so much. And these characters are so much fun. Raimi's, um... Pretty much, thanks. Raimi is the main character. She's the one that puts everything together. Um, she runs the tours. It's like three days a week. Um, people are driven to this little island where Carol House sits. And she takes them through. And pretty much everything that happened is still visible. There's still, you know, axe marks in chairs and original furniture from when the serial killer would shove people in like armoires and under beds and stuff like that. So it's a pretty creepy house. And Raimi has a little bit of, you know, psychic ability. She can sometimes sense spirits. So, and she just loves this house. She's an expert on it, knows all the lore, all the history. And she does this tour and one of the guys there, Mark, um, he has an unusual interest in the, um, house. So he 
you know, broaches that, hey, I'd like to do a week long stay here. Just, I want to see if ghosts actually exist. Of course, he has a dark secret that comes into play later and he is the love interest and it's just awesome. And then she brings in uh, these other players and they all have these wonderful personalities and backstories. There's like um, April, she's the actual owner of the house. She's um, incredibly rich, really spoiled. Um, she bought the house because it was haunted. Her parents let her, they kind of like leave her to her own devices. So she's the owner of the house. So of course she wants to be there. And then she has this like middle-aged companion, best friend that she's kind of spoiled and um, prissy and doesn't really want to be there, but she's there because she loves April. There's some tension between those two. They've had a falling out. So there's a little bit of that dynamic. Plus April 17. I mean, who doesn't have a falling out when they're 17 with their caretakers? Then there's like Marjorie. She's the um, the spiritual medium. She's like, you know, an older lady. She's been doing this for years. So it's her way or the highway when it comes to ghosts. So of course she has a conflict with one of the other characters, which is Taj. He's the um, paranormal investigator that has all these like contraptions and, you know, the the computers, the cameras, the sensors and stuff that she just does not like. So there's that fun conflict there, you know, the old way and the new way. And then there's a uh, Piers who's just there because he wants to see a ghost. He's an older man, retired, and he just wants an adventure. And there's Bernard, which is Marjorie's assistant. He's this stoic kind of creepy kind of like lurch kind of character i mean he makes food and he takes care of marjorie but otherwise leave him the fuck alone because he doesn't like any of y'all and um let's see who else yeah that's it that's all of them there's all those people and then you know it starts off fun you know some doors slam and everything else but the more they're there the worse the storm gets to the point where they can't even cross the bridge. So, you know, their um, phones go down, their cars get trashed, they are stuck there. And they just start dropping off like flies. And it's just a great ride and it's so much fun. I just really love the way she writes these tropes. And that's what they are, they're tropes and they're fun. And I just really enjoy them. And for me, Darcy Coates, so far is always going to be a five out of five read just because I just think she words good. <laughs> so yeah, that's my review for um, Carl House. It's a lot of fun. It's spooky, great for, uh, you know, a warm cup of coffee to sit at night and just get a little creeped out, not too much. All right, thank you for coming back so we can talk about books and things. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.